not Charlie Lincoln, who left the big one. This is another guy, but we're thinking, oh, yeah. I think he called um, once or twice a year. You know, to my knowledge, he's, if he's done something, we don't know about it. But he'd call, and maybe he'd want to chat about things and pick Jerry's brain. But, you know, and so it is, I, it almost has to be, I need to be approached by it. But those estate planning seminars are kind of good because that makes it a little, it's a little more comfortable. You just have to show up for it. Yeah, they just have to be there and then it starts that process. And in fact, um, the attorney I've used several times is a, a good friend of my husband and me. And, and he's a very gregarious guy, but he's done probably three or four seminars with me and it's in Boston travel. He said, I finally got a phone call from somebody from one of the seminars, you know. <laughs> you know, so it, it's kind of that. They probably got my letter, or their letter back when I went to them. But it's, you know, so it is, it is such a long process. And so you give them the information. I try to be available. If I can, if they've given me a phone number or a little more information, I might just send them something. Um, you know, I'll get some information or did you know about this? And so that's how I do that. You're nurturing, nurturing the relationship. Yeah, you all, you do have to. So, did you have a question? Oh, actually, I did. Okay. I, I, yes. I we did this in, in our parish with a financial director. We have everybody in the diocese, so we have a financial director in our parish, and he brought an estate planning lawyer with him, and did pretty much what you're talking about. But they did it from the point of view that it's better to be talking about this before you need it. Because that was everybody's fear, was they don't want to talk about their own death, and they don't want to talk about it with their families. And they came out, and they talked even at the parish, they made announcements at the parish about it, that this is, it's better to talk about this before you need it. Mm -hmm. Because when you need it, everybody's in crisis, and they can't stop about it. And we, it was very successful with the younger families. Yeah. The older families did not come. And, is that right? But, but the younger families that with, and the families in, in their 30s came. And, that's and right. that was very interesting because they wanted to tell their mom and dads about it. Oh, well, good. And that's, that's, and that's part of the five wishes exactly. and the health care directives. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be in crisis mode and yeah. have your children fighting over yeah. how your care. And I know, especially now with blended families, and um, I remember uh, a seminar last fall, there was a young woman there, and I think she probably had three or four children, divorced, the father had um, lots of, I think, addiction issues. And so she thought she could say in her will who would be guardian of those children. But because this father, there is a father, you know, there, and she, I think she was, you know, so those little things that you think you've taken care of, and yet, you know, if you have an attorney to ask that question, too, you find out, oh my gosh, I really haven't done what I needed to do. So yeah, there's always those kinds of things. So I think to make it available, it's, um, well, it's a good thing, and it's a ministry, and I, it's a part of, I think, helping people. Um, take care of themselves and maybe as a church we benefit from it and if we don't I think we feel good about that we've helped our parishioners in a different aspect of their lives to take care of so any more questions well you guys have been um, great to visit with and, and I if you I'm easy to reach at, at the Diocese of Helena and I would always be happy to provide you any information or resources. What is your email? You know what? I have business cards. Um, and let's do it that way if you want one, rather than um, email.